Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be fighting every single boss on the highest difficulty in every single Bloody Roar game. I will try to include Uranus in this video, but no promises, since she is just a bonus boss and not the default arcade boss. So we're going to start from Bloody Roar 1, and I'm going to play as Yugo in this game. I'm not going to show myself leading up to the boss because that's very uh, inconvenient, and people don't got time for that, and I know they just want to see the bosses as they are on the thumbnail. So, you're going to see me fight the bosses, but I have to run through nine stages first. Got that ass, bitch. Freak. That shit took forever. Alright, now we're finally at Udiko. <sighs> and here we are. Alright, let's get it. I need to save meter. Okay, that was a nice 3k. Give me that. For anyone thinking that this is fraud, uh, this is uh, some type of fraudulent gameplay or whatever, I need to remind you that Bloody Roar does not have a like a, a lower difficulty option. I mean, it does, but like not like your typical arcade fighter, like what's call it, King of Fighters, or something like that. So I am indeed fighting Hudiko Nonomura in Bloody Roar One at maximum difficulty. Please remember that. Rave mode. Alright, this is what I saved it for. Oh! You don't have rave, Udiko. Alright, well that ended pretty quick. Now we're moving on to Bloody Roar 2. See you guys there. Bloody Roar 2, the new breed. Ah... One of the most, if not the most popular Bloody Roar game. Bloody Roar 2, Bringer of the New Age, or Bloody Roar 2, the New Breed, or just simply Bloody Roar 2. Here's the difficulty, level 8, can't go higher than that. Alright, there's your proof. Attack level is on 2, but I'll put it on 4, because that's the default damage output, which I think is personally kind of busted. Here we go, hopped in straight into it. I'm going to go with... Alice, you'll see Udiko in Bloody War Extreme, don't worry, but she is my girl. Alright, let's do this. Welp, uh, I guess Udiko's not happy that I'm not playing her. Good fucking lord, Bakuru was so irritating. <sighs> so, technically, since Shenlong is a prominent character in this game, he is still one of the bosses of this game, even though he is a bonus character, but he is a new character. So I might as well have him here. But yeah, we're taking care of Gato first, one way or another. Also, once again, this is with the default four, the number four damage output, unfortunately. Uh, but, uh, and, and Alice and Udiko are the only characters with stomps, so this is the only way I can deal with these, this stupid AI. But I'm telling you right now, trying to fight the AI in Bloody Roar 2 competently, unless you know how to guard escape, is actually one of the worst things you could ever do. So you better hope they don't grab tech, they don't dodge you, or it's a wrap, bro, that's it. You better get your grabs in, you better play patient, otherwise it's gonna be really annoying. I don't know why he just keeps kneeing like he's Captain Falcon, and holy shit, that damage output is busted. He just... That nigga just canceled that quarter circle back punch. He really mixed me up. Scare me for a second there, Gato. But I need you to get beaten for this video, fam. If it ain't gonna be Shenlong, it at least has to be you, bruh. But Shenlong is on the thumbnail, so that'll be technically be misleading. So what the hell am I saying? I have to beat you. It's a necessity. Oh no. So you're throwing out too much shit now. So am I. 
Oh, I'm about to be dead as fuck. Unless... Nope. Ate my ass alive. Alright. We in trouble. See, once they get a round off, that means we're definitely in trouble. Oh my fucking god. Alright, yep. That's, that's where this video is officially gonna end. Psych. We endure and persevere out here. Yikes, hold on. Yeah, nigga, I gotta cheese you now, bro. I'm sorry. I can't lose. Got that ass. All right, now it's time for Shenlong. The real battle. Good lord. Whew. Gato, you had me scared, bruh. You had me scared, but... This is who we're here for. The most broken character in this game. This nigga already woke up DP'd. <laughs> what? Shenlong, you need to chill out, buddy. You need to chill out, buddy. See, he already doing crazy shit, see? This is me not trying to cheese the AI. There we go. Nice and fair. Let's go. really just did that yo that yo i'm sorry but bloody war 2 being on def for the damage output to be default uh whatchamacallit the damage output default for bloody war 2 being on four excuse me oh my god i can't talk the damage output in bloody war 2 as four for the default is broken as shit for this character bruh straight up like look at this You almost got me there, bro. Come on. Let me hit you with my beast drive. Oh. Hold on. Okay, yeah. Maybe not now. Maybe now shouldn't be the time to try to style. I should just kill him. Oh, my fucking... Why did I... Bro, I gave him that. I legitimately gave him that. What the hell is wrong with me? Bro, now you gotta die. See, look at that damage output. That's broken as shit, bro. Got that ass. That should not be, like... That should not be normal at all, yo. For real. Nice attempt. But you're looking real hungry right now. Oh my god, he really tried to do that ring shit on me, bruh. I died. I can't continue either. Fuck. It's cold, I'm broke, but Shenlong is even more broke in this damn game, bruh. I just ran all the way back to this nigga with no save states. I'm not giving this nigga a W like last time, bruh. 
Now, as I was saying, playing this game on default four damage output is one of the worst mistakes you could ever make. What? Okay, yeah, it's one of the worst mistakes you could ever make in this game simply due to the fact that it's just too damn high, especially for human moves. And again, when you consider characters like Shenlong, it's just really irritating, especially if you want to unlock him. I already have him unlocked, but when you put into perspective of doing an entire video of you beating, or somewhat beating, a boss anyway, for a video on the highest difficulty, it, 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 it really shows just... I don't know how I, I, I don't know. It shows how crazy people are for wanting to play this game, bro. At a high level with d normal damage output being four. No! Oh my fucking god! He really did it. It wasn't the stomping one, thankfully. Get me out this corner. What is this? Bitch ass mother. Mm. Whatever. We won. We won, it's over, I beat Gato, I beat Shenlong, Shenlong beat me once, but I got him back, and now, it's time to go to Bloody Roar 3, so I will see you over there when we fight Shion, who was a character before Dante, so please don't make that stupid joke. Bloody Roar 3. And here we are with Bloody Roar 3, maximum difficulty, you know the rules. Bloody blah, blah blah. I will try to reach Uranus since this is the game that she debuted in within the Bloody Roar series. Here she is right here. I have her unlocked already, but I will try to reach her. But there are no promises, so if it doesn't happen, then it just simply doesn't happen. I don't regret nothing. Let's go Bakuru. Man, I'm really inconsistent with that guard attack. Sometimes I can land it, and then sometimes, well, most of the time, I'll just land the line run on accident whenever I try to do the guard attack. I seriously need to stop trying to do that because it's going to screw me up. But anywho, we are here at Shion, the Unborn. Shion, the guy before Dante. Shion, the guy with the grab, the guy with grabs that does so much damage. The guy whose grabs does so much damage. Why do I sound like I'm malfunctioning? And a guy that can't ball a fist up when he fights. Damn, I don't think I would have reached anyway, even if I landed it. Got that ass. Alright. Well, you just wasted meter. You got a hit in. Well, three hits. Oh no. Alright. I don't know how I lived, but I did. Wow, the one time he used the guard attack and it actually fucking. Okay. Alright, Shion. You got it. Sit down. Well, that was weird. Bro, can you just go? Bitch. All right. Now, it is time for the special character. 
Uranus, or Uranus, whatever you want to call her. This broken band character. Hold that. Oh, thanks for doing that. You saved me extra stress. Come here. Alright. Got that ass. Uh, uh. Oh my gosh. Oh, don't you even dare. Nah, bitch. Sit down. Sit down, bitch. Fuck out of here. Oh! Well, that's interesting. You hypered. Was not expecting that. But you're still pretty dangerous. Even without your beast form. So that doesn't really say too much. Why is it snowing? Oh shit. This bitch trying to murder me! Oh my fucking gosh! Even without her beast form, she's still a fucking threat, bro. Get off me, bitch. Oh my god, here we go. Never mind, you're dead! Fucking bitch! Gosh! Alright, here we are on Bloody Roar Extreme. Now, before we get into the actual gameplay, I do want to give a special shout out to NFS Man 34 He is someone that upscaled all of the textures for all of the characters including their beast forms and they look a lot smoother and a lot sharper i did state that i was going to play as uriko in this playthrough for this game in particular so let's play as uriko and let's go to the uh boss when i reach chronos anyway See ya, Ganesha. Alrighty. Now it's time to fight Kronos. Penguin man, penguin man, yeah, that's me. The penguin himself, the phoenix himself. Orthodox ass fighting, bruh. Oh, there it is. Oh, damn. 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 I couldn't use anything. I couldn't use a single beast drive, but it's all good. Oh, 
Oh shit. Oh no 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 no. What your leg up for? You can't counter that. But yeah, once again, big shout out to NFS Man34 for the upscale textures on all the characters. You did a good job on this. Oh. Ah, oh, fuck. Nope. Get your ass down. Nope. Still trying that bullshit. You got me up, but you lost. Goodbye, Kronos. Alright. This is the cutscene where uh, Uriko reverts back into her true beast form briefly. I wish we got to see it in its art style, but we don't, which is unfortunate. But hey, it's whatever. Let's move on to Bloody Roar 4 now. And here we are at Bloody Roar 4. Y'all already know the deal. Just so you know, the difficulty is at 8, the attack level is on default 4, round time is on 2, or amount of rounds is on 2, the time for the rounds is on 60. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna go all the way up to the dragon. Yes, the dragon. Not 100% certain if I'll fight him because, you know, the dragon is pretty much broken. Like, really broken. But I'm gonna play Ragey the Crow. So, see you guys at the dragon. Ah, <sighs> it's finally over. Damn, these CPUs are tougher than the freaking bosses. Well, when I say bosses, I mean normal Ryoho and Mana and the dragon. He's in... here. You defeated the unborn so that... Y'all really thought I was gonna let y'all sit through that? Hell no. <laughs> Let's get this over with, bruh. Alright, Ryoho and Mana, the puppet duo. Bro, snapping on me. I got the first hit though. I see your little ass mana. Oh shit. Not right there though. Alright, alright. Okay, okay. Chill out. Chill out. Oh my fucking goodness. Alright, bruh. I know you're the semi final. You know, you're the, you're the boss before the final boss, but, like, come on, yo. Sheesh. Oh, hell no. Oh, you still lost, buddy. <laughs> I had more blue health. That's why this game sucks. Complete waste of time. You're telling me, Ragey. And there he is. This boss is really not that much different from when you're fighting it on a normal difficulty. And why is it that the normal CPUs are stronger than 
this. Oh, max difficulty. That's so weird. Bro, you are too damn wide to be on this stage. What the fuck? Okay. I'm going to beat you, bro. Right now! That was really satisfying. Not gonna lie. That was pretty satisfying. But we're done. A dragon and the unborn? I would have expected more. That's all we gotta see. Thank you for watching the boss rush of the Bloody World games. I had fun while it was frustrating at times and pretty annoying. It was still fun to do and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have yourselves a good one. And I will catch you guys in the next upload whenever, if ever. Peace.